of the LGBTQ plus community and identities between sexual orientation and gender, it feels as though gender is the more stigmatized and misunderstood aspect. And why I say that is because while all of them are still very much stigmatized just in general, it is more palatable and acceptable for people who do feel like they're liberal and progressive on this issue to think that people are attracted to someone outside Side of their sex and or gender than for someone to identify with a gender different from the sex they were assigned at birth. And so the reason why a lot of people feel that way is because when it comes to sexual orientation, that's associated more with love and like who you love and attraction is just love. And so then there's the slogan, love is love, which it is. But when it comes to gender, people start to think of it as a whole science-based field and that there's absolutely no scientific evidence behind identifying as something other than your sex because, oh, I have all this science here that there are only two sexes, but there is a difference between sex and gender. And so that's why it's really important to know that just as how atheism is not a religion, but rather the lack of religion. Being genderqueer for me is not a gender because it's the lack of a gender. And that's really inconceivable and unfathomable to a lot of people because even within talk of gender, where I was saying it's easier for people to understand and accept sexual orientation over gender. Even within gender itself, it's more understandable and tasteful to identify as a gender, even if it's not your assigned sex, than to not identify as a gender at all. Because people like to have certainty. They like to have a concrete concept and answer that they can process and then tie back to something so that it makes sense to them. But with being genderqueer or with having no religion or not having any anything that's mysterious to people and that doesn't make sense because who wouldn't want to have a definable label of something? Who wouldn't want to believe in something? How could you not believe in anything? How could you not have a gender? Again, just because you or other people have a concrete experience, a concrete label or concept to something doesn't make it bad that other people don't and vice versa. And that's where there is this divide between gender and sexual orientation. And that's a thing where a huge part of it is the fact that people in many instances discern and are able to tell when someone's gay so it's something they don't have to guess or it's not a mystery to them but with gender it's not always evident and people as I have said do not like the mysterious they don't like the unknown they don't like uncertainty they like to be able to assume what is correct and what is known I understand people feel it can be really pretentious when you say did you just assume my gender or don't assume gender but we shouldn't be assuming gender again I know it can be said in a way or that people can perceive it as rude. But just imagine how it is for people who aren't cisgender and have to constantly be misgendered. If it's really connected to your identity, it's a really fucking shitty thing because it's essentially telling you your gender and your identity are not real. They're not legitimate. I'm going to discredit you and constantly remind you that you are something you aren't. You're who I tell you you are. And that's really horrible. And that's what I've always experienced my whole life while I didn't know I identified as genderqueer. I was always led back to be assumed or to be told I should be or whatever it was that I was a certain type of male, that I wasn't who I was and that who I was wasn't legitimate. And if it was the case, then I was gay. So I could never have it any way because there were always strings attached to it. And so while I want people to understand and respect my gender identity, I'm also aware of how it is difficult to understand and process however well-intentioned you are that I don't identify as a gender and so I'm very understanding of people trying to fully respect and understand my identity because there are going to be people who don't agree with it, they don't find it real, they're just going to tell me no, that's bullshit, you're a guy, fuck you, you are making up imaginary bullshit. Biggest thing, you have a mental illness and that's a really hideous thing to say because that's something that I've seen a lot in regards to gender identity is people perceive it as a mental illness because of the fact that there are only two sexes and that's a really shitty thing and I can only hope that whoever feels that way tries to at least reflect on what I've said and to analyze what all of this means to see that there is a difference between sex and gender and if it was exclusively sex and sure there is significance to what you're saying but because gender identity is personal and unique then no you can't just think that way but for people who are supportive and are compassionate towards it but just because it's complex are 
having difficulty still rewiring the way they approach gender, I'm completely understanding of it. I'm not saying it isn't sensitive to me, because it is, but I do have to mention that there are people who are much more sensitive to it where it's triggering and if you do misgender them, it's more problematic. So please be more conscious and careful of that. But for my case, I know it was difficult for me to understand and I'm still understanding it. I was figuring it out for a very long time and when I discovered I identify as genderqueer, it was still very confusing to me. So I'm sympathetic towards people's efforts. I'm very grateful and appreciative of people who are putting in the effort to use the preferred pronouns that people have and to be more conscious of how they approach and treat gender. I'm deeply grateful for that. While a lot of discrimination and stigma about the LGBTQ plus community is talked about in terms of people who aren't in the community, there also is a lot in the community itself. There's a thing where people say the acronym of LGBTQ plus just keeps getting longer and longer and that they don't agree with the additions made because they don't believe in that identity. I think it's very hypocritical and malintentioned for people to believe in certain identities, but then to discredit others just because some aspect of it makes it seem weird or doesn't make it seem believable. I find it troubling because you should be loving of all identities regardless of how different they are of yours even if yours itself is different. I never felt like I belonged in the community until recently and that's a really sad thing. I, I hope that more people can be fully accepting and fully encompassing of all identities especially people who are in the LGBTQ plus community because you personally know what it's like to be different and to be ostracized and to not fit in and what bigger disservice and hypocrisy would it be to apply that to other people just because you don't believe in or disagree with whatever identity it is they have. I hope there is more love fostered and more understanding. And it sucked that it wasn't until recently I felt that way. I've had to come to that point where I didn't feel like I belonged to the, to the community because my gender identity isn't valid. So there still needs to be a bigger fight for that and a lot more efforts in that. That tied into my experience with Pride this year in New York City, but I'll make a separate video for that. I'm hoping that people can be open about however it is that you personally perceive and process your own identity because your identity is only yours. It's not for anyone else to manipulate, to construct, to distort. Only you and you alone can understand your identity fully and be able to not only shape it, but also encompass your understanding understanding around it within your own words and your own labels or the lack of labels and words whatever it is you should be able to be you and as cliche as that fucking sounds it doesn't matter because you should be loved for whoever you are and that is all that is important. And that is all that matters. Is that you are you. I don't care who tells you what and who tells you otherwise. Just as long as you can see yourself for who you are and say, yes, that is who I am. And I love myself for that. And I love you too.